today we're gonna do some really cool shit. We're gonna get user input. <laughs> yeah, how awesome is that? So, let's get right into it. Okay, so, first things first, we're gonna make uh, something called a scanner. Okay, this is gonna be an object. We'll go through objects uh, near tutorial 20 ish, I don't remember. Uh, but, <laughs> go ahead and make a scanner, name this S, and it will equal a new scanner. Here we're gonna put system dot in so it can get so it can get input. And we're gonna have to import this, okay? And that comes from a different package. That's why we have to import this. Uh, packages we'll go through in a different tutorial. I know, you know, I'm showing so much at you now and I'm saying, oh we'll go through in a different tutorial, but we will. It'll all piece together, okay? So don't worry. Let's just march on. So first thing you're actually gonna notice, well at least this is what I noticed when I first started programming, is that this is kind of like a variable, right? You know, you give it a type, give it any name you want, and then you put equals, and then you set it whatever it's equal to, and then you end it with a semicolon. Kind of, kind of, kind of. But this is an object. This, it'll come clear to you soon. All right, the difference will be will become clear. All right, so let's march on. Uh, so I'm gonna have system dot print lin. Whoops. Print lin. Oh, I can't type, can I? Print lin. Program four years. Can't type. All right. We're gonna go ahead and also make a input string. That's not gonna equal anything for now. All right. So we're gonna get the input from the uh, from the scanner, and then we're gonna pass it on into the input. All right. So I'm gonna print out enter whatever here, and then we're going to. Now we're actually going to get the input, so we're going to go input equals s dot get, uh, sorry, to string. Alright, so what does that do? Okay, well, Java's like, alright, so input, hey, we're going to set you uh, s dot get string, but to do that, we've got to ask for some input first. So we're going to ask for, for some input, then we'll set it to you, alright? And then we're going to go... you entered and then I'm going to teach you something new here as well we're going to go plus and then input so you can combine variables and strings of text together alright and we can do some more and we'll add a full stop at the end alright so yeah so so much fun we're having so much fun right now and we're going to input that whoa Right, so I noticed that it has to be uh, next line. I haven't worked with uh, this in a while, so bear with me. Uh, so it has to be next line, so we're going to enter... Yo, what's up? Oh, for Christ's sake. There we go. You entered, yo, what's up? So it, do it does indeed work. Alright. Awesome. That's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you uh, understood this, and hopefully you learned quite a bit today. Uh, so I'd suggest leaving a like, comment, go ahead and definitely subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. Bye-bye.